Hi friends, welcome to my X journey and it's Mrs. White again and today we're not talking about H but if you've been following me on my Instagram and my previous video you guys knew that I recently went to San Francisco and of course I did some shopping and yes so here's part of it so I did some shoe shopping and of course the reason is that I need to pair with my new bags um so well and you know what San Francisco outlet never disappoint me especially for Roger Vivier and tops because I did shop at Woodbury because that's the closest outlet um, for tops and I could never ever found anything especially not in my size um, maybe I only got like what one pair of sandal that's about it and guess what this time in San Francisco I got three in one time with 55% off isn't this like unbelievable and you know what when I opened it, you you guys will know like these are still available at some department stores in regular price. And I'm so happy that I'm able to score all these without paying the full price. So without further ado, why don't we start with the unboxing and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Please consider to subscribe because my channel is not only talks about Hermes, I do share about the tips and strategy with you all. And okay, let's look at what I got from Togs. So let's start with the smaller box just because it's right in the front. And just gonna open it. It comes with a dust bag. And Yes, I got a like a flat, like a balleria style. I like this one because you know Tuck is really known for their shoes. Uh, when I wear it, it's actually very comfortable. Um, and then, so this is the original price, five hundred forty-five dollars. And guess how much I got. So this was at the last pair section. So this is probably the last pair in this size. Um, it said $190. Yeah, that's already a good deal, right? But there's better. I actually got it for $165 because uh, I remember you have to buy in a certain amount, I think around $800, you get a 15% off additional. So I got an additional 15% off, obviously, because I got two other shoes, right? Um, so it ended up to be $165. And because I live in a state that doesn't collect um, shoes or ready-to-wear sales tax, so I just had them ship back directly to my state and I actually I did pay shipping but then if you think about it you calculate it the shipping fee of the what $23 well worth them paying the California tax because you guys know that California tax is quite high and plus my state doesn't collect any ready-to-wear tax and it's like it makes no sense for me why should I pay for tax I rather pay for the shipping which is still lower okay so this is just some tips for you guys Okay, so that's it for the first one. Now I'm gonna open this one because this is the one that I asked you guys to help me vote which one I should get. And there's a story, like I never shop shoes like that. But anyways, um, and by the way, tux at this locations, I could really find my true size and um, with their shoes, I'm pretty consistent. Um, it's all 37, which is quite nice. Um, and normally, my shoe size, you can find nothing. Duh! Yes, it's the sneakers. Um, I was debating between the two. You know, if you guys see my Instagram, I was debating the faux pink one or 
with the white contrast. So this is how it looks like. It's very pretty. So pretty. All right, let me take off this. Okay. So this is also the last pair and I really like their sneakers because inside, like he, over here, the pad, it's like memory foam. Yes, like when you, I, when I first tried it, I feel like it's a little weird because as you walk, the memory foam just like come up and down kind of thing. It's like as you press, it will go down. As you lift your feet, then it will go up. It's a little bit weird, but overall, it's a very, very comfortable shoes. I, I can really see myself wearing it like the whole entire day not getting tired at all my feet won't you know as is swollen or whatever but it won't be as um bad you know it's good for my feet i believe um and look at the bottom so it's a i can see it's very nice support also the way they you know how tox is like they always have these at the bottom as a support okay so, so the outlet price is $575 and with the 40% off is $345. But like I mentioned earlier, I have additional 15% off. So it ended up to be 290 something. So the original price at Tox or at the department store is probably 700 something. Okay. And I got this, you know, 200 something. Isn't that like the greatest deal? So, so I got this with 55% off the total, which is, you know, there's nothing you can bargain for, right? But the only thing I'm concerning about is like, you know how this is the logo here, right? But the lace, it's like so up high. So I'm just thinking maybe I should just take one off. and then maybe tie it here instead. I don't know, I gotta think about it. But anyways, um, so now let me tell you a story when I was getting, uh, <coughs> how I decided to get this one. So as you know, I was debating between, you know, the white with the pink beige contrast or the full pink beige. So for that one, I mean, that's what Mr. White suggested me to get the faux pink one because he, he said, oh, I wear very well with pink for some reason on that day, maybe because of my dress. But I was really leaning towards the white one, which is this one, because I don't really have much um, white shoes. I mean, I don't really have much like a white sneakers and I, I've been looking for a white sneaker kind of like not not actively, but then I'm always like onto that color, you know. Another thing about that pink one was you can actually change the shoelace. So with the picture that I show you on Instagram, um, that one was with the white shoelace, but they actually also has the pink shoelace to match with the shoes. And I was like, okay, um, the white one would get dirty easier. Uh, maybe I should get the pink one. So at first, well, first and foremost, I actually said, okay, I want the white one to my essay. And then as we we're discussed further, and I said, okay, I want the pink one. And then as we pay, and then I saw Instagram, like how you guys start voting. And I'm like, okay, I should really go with my hearts. <laughs> So I had to ask my essay and said, can I get the white one instead? <laughs> and he was so nice about it. And, you know, I, I never ever being so indecisive. Okay. But I just didn't want to buy too many sneakers at once because what if there's better things in the future? Right. So, and I don't want it to be same color either. So with this white contract, I love it. This is great. Great purchase for sure. And now I'm gonna show you guys my third item. So you guys probably hear some hints. Yes, this is another sneakers and there's a dust bag. And I can tell you guys, I saw this style 
a few months ago. I was almost very impulsive to buy on the spot with a regular price, $745. And Mr. Y stopped me. <laughs> he basically say, never buy talks in regular price. Mm, okay, this is Mr. Y's opinions, okay? I don't know about everyone else, but this is Mr. Y's opinions. And when we first walked into this boutique at San Francisco, this is the first thing he saw. He ran to it. He's like, I saw it. I saw your shoes. I'm like, what are you talking about? I technically just walking like at the entrance, just walking here, like left and right. And he's just like, walk right straight. It's like straight in the front. And I was like, okay, so let's see what it is. He's another sneaker. Ta da! So, this is a slip on types of sneakers and this is with wool material as you can see here and they had the pink on display and the funniest thing is when I asked um, do they have my size and whatnot he actually found a brown one and I, I thought of it but then Mr. Y said no that was an ugly brown but anyways I tried it on, he said, you know, pink really looked good on me, whatever. Um, but you know what, this is the style that I was looking for a um, few months ago. So at the original store and department store, they still have this exact style. Maybe not in this color particular, but they do have it in style. Um, and this is in wool, so I guess like more for like a fall winter season. And you know what, in, in the US right now, I mean, in my state, it's still kind of cold. Um, and also with my business trip, the places that I'm going, it it's also cold as well. So this is perfectly fine. I can still see this like wearing during the springtime. Um, and this is in pink. So it's it can still be very neutral, to be honest, as a shoes. And over here, it's also a memory foam, okay? which I love. Um, I am looking for another, I am looking for the same style, but different fabric. I was, they have a fabric version, which is not, which is not with wool, but then it's full fabric. And I will insert a picture here for you guys to see. Um, I am looking for the exact color, but of course, if they don't have the exact color, if they have something that's neutral, um, I will also be considered, so I think I will contact my essay in San Francisco to see if he can look out for me. So I'm going to picture here uh, for you guys to see, like both of them are both same material, same style, it's still a slip on, it's just in a fabric, but I am debating on which one to get because I did try, I did try at the regular store of the brown color. It's like a khaki color. Um, and then the other one is, you know, more like a tri-color. Yeah, like with white and light gray, which is, I love light gray. Um, and also the khaki color, a little bit. Which I think the combination is very nice, but I don't know which one I should get. So yeah, please comment below. Let me know um, what do you guys think and if I like which one I should really request my essay and say, can you look out for me? <laughs> Maybe I should just request both and whenever he got it, then I will be like, okay, then I'll take whichever comes first. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. So the original price at the regular store or department store, it's around $795. And at the outlet, I got it for $390 uh, with the additional 15% discounts. So this is a great buy, for sure. Uh, this is the shoes that I went to look for, okay? And so we were like kind of like chatting with the essay and like a different essay were like kind of chatting to us and whatever. And they found out that we usually go to the one in Woodbury in New York, the New York outlet and I could never buy anything. I could never found anything, okay? And she was surprised. She said, um, isn't the New York outlet, it's bigger? And we were thinking, no, 
this store is bigger. You have more stock. And with my size at 37, it's very hard to find on the East Coast. So, and you can never find it in the last pair sections. The last pair sections, it won't be as good of a selections, okay? So, in San Francisco, it's like a heaven to me. And we found out the reason why they were able to get all these like very recent items or recent seasons items because they all came from Hawaii. That's what I found out. They all came from Hawaii, which it makes sense because Hawaii, it's only six hours away. Um, so they will get the first batch of everything. And now it makes a lot of sense. It's like, oh, after a season or two, then they ship things that, you know, it's out of the season to the outlet at the closest outlet, it's in San Francisco. So now I'm like, since I have connection, then I will, in the future, I think I could just, you know, text my essay and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. So whenever you receive it, just let me know. Um, it will be the great options, right guys? So do you guys approve my talks? collection this time you know my little shoe haul so if any of you have experience wearing tux uh, sneakers or shoes in general like a ballerina um, please comment below let me know um i would love to hear your review and so today i'm gonna go out i'm gonna be wearing this shoes and if you guys want me to do any of the in-depth review i could totally do it and just so you guys know over here it's leather it's a leather line thing i just found that out <laughs> so this will be my part one unboxing of my shoe haul uh, because you know I, I know it's a little bit too long for you guys already and um the next video i'll be unboxing my roger vn so if you have not yet subscribed to my channels please consider to subscribe so then you won't miss any of my unboxing videos um some of my shopping strategies shopping tips and of course, I talked a lot of things about Hermes. Um, if you guys have not yet watched my recent unboxing with the Hermes mini bag series, which I have the part one, part two, and part three, um, you guys should, I will put the link above and down below for your reference. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.